Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Monday, June 6th, 2022. Um, I am very happy to be here before you to uh, read God's Word together and to uh, talk about it a little bit. I want to pray that we are all in good health. Um, uh, there's been um, people in my life, in my group, that uh, have had uh, experiences and are undergoing uh, family you know, health problems, and it, it, all I can think of is that you, we really have to love each other every day because you can never go backwards. So just keep that in mind, and I pray that God will always set our hearts straight. Okay, today's reading comes to us from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 20 to 34. But Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man. For as an animal dies, so in Christ all will be made alive. But in each turn, Christ the first fruits. then, when he comes, those who belong to him. Then the end will come when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed all dominion, authority, and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death, for he has put everything under his feet. Now when it says that everything has been put under him, it is clear that this does not include God himself, who put everything under Christ. When he has done this, then the Son himself will be made subject to him, who put everything under him, so that God may be all in all. Now, if there is no resurrection, what will those do who are baptized for the dead? If the dead are not raised at all, why are people baptized for them? And as for us, why do we endanger ourselves every hour? I face death every day, yes, just as surely as I boast about you in Christ Jesus our Lord. If I fought wild beasts in Ephesus with no more than human hopes, what have I gained? If the dead are not raised, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. Come back to your senses as you ought and stop sinning, for there are some who are ignorant of God, I say this to your shame. Amen. Okay, so what what are we really uh, reading here? Um, it all comes down to God making the final decisions. It's everything, God is sovereign overall. God is uh, omnipotent. He can do whatever he wants. He is fully in charge. Um, Christ, we, we would not be we would not be with God someday if it wasn't for Jesus returning as a man, just a matter, just as Adam was a man in that respect, and dying for us. Uh, so everything will be under the control of Jesus Christ until the end, where everything will be under control of God Himself, and that again goes to uh, the, speaks to the Trinity, um, which is always little difficult to grasp fully but showing us this is showing us again how God is separate from Jesus Christ even though they all they are all the same person they are all each individuals God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit so that's also something to think about how they differentiate each other uh, at, in the end time like this uh, but uh, what God really uh, is, um, what Paul is really saying and God speaking to him is that in the end also that uh, watch who you associate yourselves with. Um, you know, watch the, uh, watch the bad that can corrupt the good uh, because the, that happens so many times in life where there's uh, very good people they get mixed up in the wrong crowd as we would say and then uh, with the cataclysmic results. I want to pray that we all always can see what God wants for us and that we all always will follow him and obey him to the best of our ability. I pray all these things in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. Thank you, everybody, and good morning.